Good evening. My name is Pravindra Nakimahindran and this will be my industrial training presentation. I was placed under Sheffer Cup Malaysia, SKM, with the supervision of Inche Fahim Saiti bin Mohammed. So, some background about my company. SKM was established in 1995 at Kuala Ketil, Kedah. It's an autonomous and fully operated factory with a local team of managers, engineers and technicians. It is owned by Schaeffer Cup GmbH and Co. KG at Germany and was founded by Mr. Johannes Schaeffer. They are specialized with calcium products which include calcium carbonate, calcium hydroxide, calcium oxide. So Schaeffer Cup is a multinational corporation with many branches with the main branch being in Germany, followed by China, Malaysia and the latest one in Indonesia. These are some of the certifications that are given to Schaeffer Cup Malaysia. I was placed under the laboratory and research uh, partition of the factory. So these are the tasks that I have taken part in. The first one was F105 test. This is a simple test to determine the dry mass of any sample. The next one is a brightness test, which is to determine the whiteness of our calcium products. There are a lot of calcium products and the whiteness determines the quality of the product. Next is dry residue test, which is to determine the sample sizes of our products. So some samples are, are classified based on how big the particles are. And the particles can range from being as small as 10 microns to as big as 200 microns. Next is uh, XRF test or X-ray fluorescence test. This test is done to determine a number of impurities or elements inside of our raw material, which is calcium carbonate ore. And the next one is PSD test or particle size distribution. This test is to determine how much uh, is the variance between the particle sizes in a given sample. The next is a manual sieving. And this is quite similar to wet sieving and also the edge sieving where we just sieve. Manual sieving is done using our hands, while well, wet sieving is done using water and it's more for calcium carbonate and calcium hydroxide as they are unlikely to react with the water. Quicklime or calcium oxide is quite reactive with water. Next is total suspended solid, solid test, jar test, SV30 test. These three tests are very uh, specialized for wastewater treatment. The next test is moisture test. This is quite similar to F105 but it uses a specialized equipment which can uh, automatically determine how much water was inside a, inside a sample. Next is bed test or brand new teller test which is a specialized, very specialized equipment which uses uh, liquid nitrogen to determine the specific surface area of a given sample. And uh, the last few tests are tachometer test. This is to determine the rotation of a shaft Leco analysis. This leco equipment is also specialized and it's used to determine the amount of carbon dioxide and water in a given sample. And the last test that I did a lot was viscosity test, which is to determine how uh, viscous a sample is. So I was involved in a few projects while I was at SKM. The very first project is just a basic project is to determine the difference between HSBL and HSBL. HSBL is a hydrated hardburn lime while HSBL is hydrated softburn lime. Our company has been producing softburn lime for a very long time and they are slowly moving on to hardburn lime which is a better product and it's cleaner for the environment. So these are some of the differences that I figured out. The links to the report are attached in the uh, in these slides. The next project I was involved in is to determine uh, a cost a problem in a plant which is uh, material spilling from the belt conveyor. So this belt conveyor is in the crushing plant and this material spilling is causing some dust to form in the plant. So they asked me to just determine what could cause and how to solve this problem. This is a short project for three days. My next project is uh, also a simple one to design a pump for this new hydrated hardburn lime plant. So this pump is to provide uh, cooling water or it could be anything, it could even be processed water to certain equipments and uh, they gave these uh, parameters that I had to plug into certain equations and to get uh, a design aspect of the pump and I could just give this spec to any vendor and they could provide a suitable pump. The next one is quite a major project, it lasted for a week and this was uh, inside the new HHBL plant or hydrated hardburn line plant. This task was for me to determine the motor tax and their iron uh, labels inside the entire plant. So the plant consists of around 40 motors for each of their equipments and I was tasked to take photos of these motors to make a simple PFD as well as label each of these motors so that if anything goes wrong with the motor, they could easily just look into the report, find the motor, find the specs and get it changed. 
my next task is regarding compressed air this is also quite a huge project where i was tasked to find the pfd the, the flow of compressed air compressed air is quite expensive so determining if there is any leakage inside the piping is quite important to save some cost my next project is flocculation optimization this project was done with other interns and here we were tasked to determine whether our wastewater treatment plant requires the use of flocculants or we can do the clean we can do the wastewater treatment without the need of flocculant the flocculant costs about eight six thousand per year so we determined that no we could not that do this uh, cleaning without flocculants but we could reduce the amount of flocculants that was needed so that was a win for us the next project is uh, to determine the working like working mechanism behind this leco equipment so this leco equipment is quite specialized and it's used to determine how much water and carbon dioxide is in a sample so by going through the equipment manual and doing some research online i managed to figure out how this equipment works and explain it to the technicians who've been using them for years and the last project that I was involved in is the HHBL plant commissioning itself. This plant is a new plant, as I said earlier, to, to produce this new kind of hydrated heartburn lime. And I was tasked in collecting the sample and testing the sample for each of the runs to determine whether the quality of the product is equal and sufficient for customers to buy. So in conclusion, I learned a lot from my internship training. And the hands-on and tra training that they have given me is quite important and I really appreciate what they have done for me. And one thing I really learned from this is going back to the basics is very important. And lastly, having fundamental principles is very crucial. Thank you. That's all from me.